Okay, uh, so I'm also going to review the movie uh, Aligarh. It was directed by Hansan Mehta. The, it is based on the story of Professor Ramchandra Siras, who was a professor of Marathi and the head of classical modern Indian languages faculty at the Aligarh Muslim University. He was uh, suspended on the grounds of morality and gross misconduct after he was caught having consensual sex with a rickshaw puller. And it was been recorded by a local TV channel, Camera View, after they had forcibly entered into his private premises. He was then sacked from his uh, position of a professor. And uh, after his suspension, he was forced to leave his housing at the university. And, uh, and uh, all this incident, uh, journalist named Deepu Sebastian took very keen interest in his story and he had contacted him and had to cover the story. When he met him, he had a sympathy towards him and with his help, Professor Siras takes up his case to the court. Advocate Anand uh, Gover has, uh, represents him in the Aligarh High, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Allahabad High Court and the Honorable Court rules in his favor and Professor Siras gets back his job along with his accommodation until his retirement. However, the, before he could return to his court, he was mysteriously, mysteriously found dead. So the issues that I found uh, when I, while I was watching the movie is uh, that invasion to privacy, which was so much overshadowed by the homophobic society. And uh, the forcible videotaping of someone's private moments, it's itself a crime. Trespassing someone's property which is in possession without permission is a crime. And, uh, the, and the society is... So uh, based on the various incidents, I'm going to reflect on the um, different kinds of laws, uh, rules of law which is in question. Uh, the incident where uh, a Professor Sirius' private, uh, private movements were uh, recorded after the invasion to his property by a local TV reporters at an odd hour, which is uh, in, uh, where his right to privacy, human dignity, and personal liberty was hampered, which is enshrined in Article 21 of the Indian Constitution. Uh, in Harak um, Singh versus the state of uh, UP, it was uh, the right of privacy was not considered to be a fundamental right. However, uh, uh, later on in the other case, it was held that the right to privacy is an integral part of the right to life and personal liberty under Article 21. Also, uh, in A.K. Gopalan versus State of Madras, the Supreme Court had a very narrow interpretation of the personal liberty. Uh, it only meant the freedom from arrest and detention from false imprisonment or wrongful confinement. But it was also uh, not followed by the Supreme Court in Kharak Singh's case, where personal li liberty had a very wide ambit and it covered a lot of rights. Uh, and it is very much distinct from the right to movement, which has been enshrined in Article 19. Also, right to privacy, even if it is uh, right to privacy, will also include uh, the, uh, the part of protecting someone's uh, human dignity. So, uh, because this, this is clearly hampered in, uh, in Professor Sirius' case. And also trespass to land and person, which is, uh, trespass to land is a common law tort, uh, and also it is criminalized under section 441 of the Indian Penal Code. So, and uh, criminal trespass, which is defined in Indian Penal Code, that whoever enters into or, in, or upon property in possession of another with the intent to commit an offense, insult or annoy such person in possession of such property or having lawfully entered into and stays in the, remains there in the property with the in, intent to insult or annoy such person is criminal trespass. So in the, and is also punishable with uh, three uh, punishable with the description of three months and fine of uh, 500 rupees, which may extend to 500 rupees. So in this uh, case, uh, it was 
clearly criminal trespass, but no one just pay heed to that. Also, the fact that is shown that homosexuality and the homosexual activity was considered to be clearly considered to be misconduct. And uh, if uh, section 377, which refers to uh, unnatural office offenses, says that whoever uh, ha has voluntarily carnal intercourse against the law of nature with a man or woman or animal shall be punishable uh, and with the imprisonment of description of 10 years and also fine. But uh, the section clearly criminalizes consensual sex between two adults of the same gender. The issue was raised by the NAS Foundation in section uh, against this in, sec in 2001 uh, and uh, Delhi High Court had decriminalized sex between two consenting adults of the same gender by holding the criminal provision as illegal. However, the child activists were not uh, satisfied or and they heavily criticized the decision of Delhi High Court. In 2013, it restored criminality of sexual relationship between persons of the same sex after it was overturned by Supreme Court. The enactment of, uh, but uh, later on the, in 2012, when the POSCO Act ca uh, came in, the child, uh, the child activists has, when no one to criticize it anymore, criticize 377 anymore, because POSCO was more child friendly and it was more strict. And in 2018, in Naptev Singh was uh, Singh Jawar versus Union of India, Supreme Court reversed its own verdict and restored. Uh, 377 saying that uh, the verdict of restoring 377 and said that the prior law is irrational, arbitrary, and incomprehensive. So the uh, total analytical view is that the movie is based on Professor Ramchandra Siras and the hori and portrays the horrifying humiliation a homosexual man faces due to his sexual orientation. Even a talented man like Professor Siras was looked on upon due to his sexual orientation when uh, by his friends and uh, his students, everyone, he was suspended on the grounds of misconduct where it was a totally a private moment and, with, and actually he was uh, a victim of, because he, his inv there was his invasion of privacy, his property was trespassed, but no one actually pay, paid heed to that. Uh, he, his dignity was damaged, uh, damaged like anything when he was, when his private moments were forcibly videotaped, actually he was asked, he was been beaten up also by the local channels. But uh, his fight for the wrongful suspension is what the tale and uh, the journalist Deepu Sebastian needs to salute for supporting him throughout. However, we all know it is a mystery that how he was found dead. Uh, maybe the society couldn't take the verdict and his uh, coming back to his uh, profession. So, uh, like we need to change. We need to bring the cha change because even if it is decriminalized by uh, Supreme Court, the social acceptance of different orientation is lacking in, in today's world, and in fear of social identity, many of these gay, lesbian people, they get, they get married to the people, uh, to people of, people of opposite gender, and it leads to unhappy marriages. The children out of such couples have, have uh, ill mental health. And being a citizen of New India, we need to understand the need of the hour, and we need to change our outlook according to that. As, and as for the invention, the invasion to privacy, even if it is totally, it is not totally uh, expressed in uh, in in our constitution. But uh, but the degree of invasion, uh, like in Article Twenty One, it is clearly said, except according to the procedure established by law. But it doesn't mean that someone can restrain me without without any uh, legal issue. So, invent a uh, degree of invasion should not go beyond human dignity. So, uh, we need to understand where, 
the fine line where where from where we can invade into someone's privacy we cannot go beyond that and also it's a need of the art that homosexuality should we should accept homosexuality because that will give a clearer vision because the uh, i have seen in many cases in my personal experience as well that there are many there are parents uh, the one of them is gay and the child out of that uh, that marriage he is facing such trouble in his life like he he is a loner he is in depression that uh, his father is a gay and they are fighting every day so it, it is really it's really no like we need to stop this we need to stop this we need to accept that homosexuality is not a disease it is it is we cannot be homosexual uh, just like that we are naturally like this so this is how i would like to conclude my review um, hope i was uh, i could uh, bring the light to this movie thank you Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am also going to review the movie Aligar. As like the previous two speakers have spoken, uh, it's a movie based uh, in Al on Aligar. Uh, professor Siraj, uh, uh, he was a Marathi professor uh, in the uh, faculty of uh, languages at Aligar Muslim University. And the movie uh, actually is uh, he was a very renowned professor. He he had also received the Maharashtra Sahitya Award. Uh, Star in the year 2003 for his uh, for his uh, poet uh, for, uh, for his book uh, Grass Under His Feet, uh, which is also mentioned in the movie. So I'll start with the uh, fact. Uh, it, uh, Professor Siraj uh, was uh, in the year 2010. Professor Siraj, uh, with uh, a friend of his, was found having a, a homosexual act with one of his, uh, which was a rickshaw uh, puller. Uh, Was the rickshaw puller? Uh, the two media, two local media guys, uh, barged into his house at, uh, around midnight and recorded his uh, homosexual act, which and beat him and threatened him. So after that, um, as okay, thank you. So uh, what happened? Uh, so after that, uh, Professor Siraj, uh, four of his colleagues also uh, went in after the media guys and. Uh, talk to the media people in the other room, and uh, then uh, they. Uh, then one of the, the one was one of his colleague was a professor of the illegal Muslim University. He went there after some time and uh, and uh, uh, told Siraj, Professor Siraj, that he has handled the matter and that the video tape is with him and he would not be. Uh, it he would destroy him. Professor Siraj also pleaded uh, pleaded with him that he destroy the video, but. Next day, what happens is uh, the the video was viral over all the local media, newspaper, and uh, social media. Professor Siraj was uh, very unhappy with this, and uh, then uh, in the evening, I guess uh, there was a notification from the university suspending him uh, and uh, starting an inquiry. Uh, there was also a notice which asked him to vacate his uh, residential quarters of the university uh, in the next seven days, and his electricity and uh, water was also cut. This happened. In the meantime, there was uh, this uh, gotten over all the newspaper. In the meantime, there was a Delhi-based journalist, D.P. Sebastian, uh, who got to know about this, and he travelled all the way to Alighur to know more about the story of Professor Siraj. Uh, so uh, D.P. Sebastian also started working uh, with him, and they, uh, so they they had a very good. Uh, they started having a very good relationship, and Professor Siraj also started talking to him about all the things in life uh, which has been depicted in the. Movie. Uh, after some time, uh, the 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 Nas Foundation people, uh, which uh, who had filed a petition against the CC 77 in the Delhi High Court, uh, came to him and uh, wanted uh, to uh, fight for him in the Allahabad High Court against his suspension. The case primarily, uh, the movie primarily revolves around uh, the uh, that case that was Professor Siraj versus Aligarh Muslim University, whose judgment, interim judgment, came in the year 2010. Where the Allahabad High Court stayed on the suspension of Aligarh Muslim University and asked the university to uh, hand him over the uh, quarter that was allotted to him. And uh, uh, in a in a separate paragraph, the university uh, the judgment also stated that the, uh, the departmental inquiry would go on against uh, 
Professor Siraj, but uh, uh, they put a stay on the, uh, the, uh, the suspension uh, notification. After that, what happened is uh, it was primarily the three acts which have covered uh, this. Uh, the movie, uh, uh, if I'll uh, right to privacy is one, then uh, homosexuality section 377. Right to privacy was uh, a right which uh, the Supreme Court stated in J.S. Swami versus Union of India in the, in the year 2017. The Supreme Court said that right to privacy is also a right under Article 21, which was violated in uh, Professor Siraj's case, where the two media persons passed into his room and uh, recorded, uh, recorded his uh, act. There was no uh, no fire against the media person uh, media persons and when me to Sebastian the um, journalist who was uh, uh, following uh, Professor Siraj asked this about uh, to the administration of the AMU uh, the AMU people did not have any answer as to why they did not file an fire against the media person uh, after this. Uh, So uh, the, the three uh, sections which of the constitution which were violated uh, in Professor Siraj's case is Article 14, which uh, is equality before law, uh, in which uh, the state, the article is, uh, is the state shall not deny to any person equality before the law or the equal protection of law, in this case it was violated. And then Article 16 of the constitution in which uh, in matters of public employment, equality is, is, uh, should be there. And Professor Siraj was suspended without giving any prior notice uh, because because of his because of uh, moral issues uh, moral issues which was uh, thought to be uh, wrong according to the AMU administration uh, but morality is a very subjective issue uh, uh, a person a family man can think a divorced guy is, is immoral uh, a person who believes in God can think an atheist can be immoral uh, and immoral so it's a very subjective issue which the uh, which the AMU administration did not think of and did not give him uh, ample of time to reply if uh, they suspended him with a day's notice i guess and, uh, so it was very unfair on professor siraj then uh, there was also uh, a legal muslim university act of 1920 in which there was this uh, section 35 36b where every employee has a right no and right to appeal against the order, but in this case, there was uh, no uh, no show cause notice or anything given by the AMU administration. Professor Siraj. So uh, now I'll talk about the three judgments of the uh, our honourable court uh, of India, uh, like in uh, in 2009, I guess, uh, before this movie was started, uh, there was a judgment of Noun Foundation versus Delhi uh, Delhi government. Government in which the Delhi High Court decriminalized the section 377, the operational part of section 377, where uh, where unnatural uh, unnatural sex between uh, consenting adults was no longer unnatural; it was made uh, to be natural. Uh, then uh, this was appealed. Uh, various uh, organization appealed against the judgment, and then uh, 2013, the Supreme Court formed uh, in a two-judge bench. Overturned the decision of the Delhi High Court in Suresh Kumar Bhatti versus Nas Foundation, where they found uh, where they again criminalized Section 377, which was recognized by the Delhi High Court. Uh, uh, the, uh, there was the, the Nas Foundation uh, uh, and the case in court, which came in, in uh, appealed against the judgment. Uh, and in 2018, uh, again in the judgment of Nasir Singh Gaur versus Junior of India, uh, the Supreme Court again overturned its uh, decision of the 20, of 2013 in a five judge. Uh, bench uh, where it again decriminalized section 377. Uh, uh, it decriminalized and to the extent that it uh, it the part it made unconstitutional the part where it criminalized consensual sexual conduct between adults of the same sex. So uh, the only uh, bestiality is still uh, uh, is still criminalized uh, in section 377, but the part where uh, where it, it says that. Uh, Whoever voluntarily has carnal intercourse against the order of nature with any man, women, or animal. So, till women, I think uh, it's, it's, it's decriminalized. Uh, animal, if you have someone has uh, sexual intercourse or sexual acts with animal, it is still criminalized. But the part uh, with man or uh, consensual sex between a man, uh, two people, two men or two women, uh, it, it was 
Section 377 has been legalized, and uh, there, 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 it's still it's not that a big a taboo that it was in back in 2010 when Professor Siraj used to live. But still, as a society, we need to work uh, more on accepting uh, homosexual people. Like uh, it's uh, the gay marriages are still criminalized in our country. Uh, two, two, two men or two women still cannot marry according to. Our country, they, uh, there have been many cases with, where people got married uh, in the U United States or UK and then came back to our country and uh, are living. So the one thing that uh, that needs to come uh, as soon as possible is uh, with this judgment should have come with, with, with uh, legalizing the marriages of uh, homosexual people so that they can also like normal uh, like other people they can also live. <laughs> 